Vladimir Putin yesterday warned of a civil war in Egypt. I think you're already seeing a civil war in Egypt. All part of the globalist on record strategy of tension, balkanization, destabilization, global program. And that's what they have in store for the United States many years down the road. But places like Egypt are a little bit further along in the New World Order plan. We're going to be looking at that on this Monday, the 8th day of July, 2013, Global Transmission. Larry Pratt will be joining us at the start of the next hour for 30 minutes, the head of Gun Owners of America, to look at some of the new Fast and Furious type scandals that have broke uh, in the back of the newspaper but have not gotten a lot of attention, and the state of the anti-gunners, uh, extrajudicial, outside-of-the-law, UN treaty operations. Because Obama says he doesn't care if the Senate doesn't ratify it. He's going to implement it. So we'll be looking at that coming up in the second hour. Adam Kokesh is going to pop in for about 10, 15 minutes. Uh, I haven't talked to him yet. He said he's been uh, off the radar uh, since he went and locked and loaded or loaded a shotgun uh, outside the Capitol in defiance of the unconstitutional law that's un been overthrown uh, in D.C., so he'll be giving us the first media interview uh, that he's done since he did that on Independence Day last week as a true uh, follower of uh, terrorists like George Washington. Very extreme, very evil, very bad. He also thinks that you have a Fourth Amendment, a Tenth Amendment, and should not have police all over the country now doing proctology exams on people on the side of the road. A new video emerged over the weekend that I watched this morning of Texas women again with police, male police uh, on top of it, uh, doing cavity searches and uh, just, just unprecedented. And it shows how whacked out government's gotten. By the way, they, uh, they, the government is on record, as I've said 50 trillion times, and as you know, shipping the drugs into the country. These women were coming back from the beach to Houston in their bikinis, two friends, actually two cousins, and uh, well, some will say, well, it's because they're black this happened. I don't know. I've seen footage of blondes, brunettes, white, Hispanic, black. Se seems to be women, though, and they just tell them, get a bend over the hood. And, and, and you can have multiple women, same glove, just a total assault in my view. But it's the officer's order. I order you out of your house. We're going to use your house to surveil your neighbors. I order you. I order who needs to get to the pearly gates to become an angelic being? You become God the moment you put on the uniform under the New World Order. They're God in North Korea. The police are God in Mexico. Of course, the country's rot into the ground once there's no due process. But so what? So what? Every metric shows America rotting into the ground. It's all part of the same orgy we've seen thousands of times in different nations in history. When the tyrants take over... The decadent population submits. I mean, this is happening because we do have a slovenly, arrogant, self-centered, thuggish uh, population as well. Not everybody, but but in general, it's a rotting society uh, with no self-respect. Uh, in fact, uh, San Francisco Flight 77 crash. Why did so many passengers evacuate with their bags, Forbes asked. Well, they should be asking what's buried in the article. Why did they not help the children? People left kids on board and went for their bags. Let me tell you, I'm in an airplane and it's blowing up on fire. Forget my clothes. You know, your uh, dirty underwear or whatever. I mean, it's just, just the, 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 the minionness of, of, of the whole world's population. because there's a war on for your mind. That has been our motto here at InfoWars for my 18 years of battle against the globalist. And now we see the open announcements of global, private, corporate tyranny over our governments. That's what the New World Order is, is an unaccountable private combine of organized crime engaged in corporate takeovers of nation states. And the conscious attempt to abolish basic rights and fundamental liberties. 
Infowars.com is not just leading the charge against this here in the U.S. or North America. We are leading the charge worldwide. And that's because our listeners, our viewers, our supporters, fellow freedom lovers like you across the planet resonate with our message of liberty and telling it like it is. And that's why for the last two years especially, I have thrown everything I've got, my time, my energy, our backup capital, everything into really trying to awaken the sleeping giant that is humanity. And that's why the July issue that just came in a few days ago is so important. We've already sold about half the stock we have of it at cost in groups of 10 up to 100 in bulk. It covers the entire NSA spy grid, how it ties in worldwide, how it's not about stopping terrorists, but about suppressing and dominating and controlling the free press and political opposition. And in this magazine, we don't just have three free bumper stickers like I did a few months ago. We have 10 bumper stickers, four full-size ones with amazing messages guaranteed to get people thinking like America has been occupied by globalist forces, Infowars.com. Listen to Alex Jones at Infowars.com. Infowars.com, forbidden information. Listen to Alex Jones, Infowars.com. And then on top of it, six medium-sized bumper stickers with the message as well. These are key to post in legal and lawful areas on your book bag, your computer, your car, or to give friends and family. I have printed 500,000 of these bumper stickers. Only half of this month's run of magazines has them. So when you purchase them in bulk or you're a 12-month subscriber, you will get the special issue. And I can't afford to do this every month, so it's going to be quite a while until we do this again. Please take advantage of this. Buy them in bulk and give them to your friends and family and encourage them to get these bumper stickers out because with 500,000 stickers, we can reach tens of millions of people with the message of truth. They want to collectivize us. They want to bankrupt us. They want to drive us into their arms to control us. They want to dumb us down. But the sleeping giant that is for humanity is awakening. So I want to thank you all for your support. I want to encourage everybody to go to InfoWarsStore.com and to get a 12-month subscription or to give a gift subscription. Imagine 12 of these coming to your friends or family's door to wake them up. Or to give a gift subscription to the local police department or your local congressman or woman. This is how we're going to affect change, voting with our dollars and voting with our time. Again, visit InfoWarsStore.com today to subscribe, to get the magazine in bulk, or to give a gift subscription, or to give yourself a subscription to wake up friends and family. I am all in. I am committed 110% to not mince words and to not back off and to boldly confront the globalist. And our listeners and supporters, our info warriors, who aren't behind us, they're right beside us. So I want to thank all of you that have supported us in the past, and I want to encourage all of you out there who may be on the fence, that know this information is true, but have been scared to take action. You had better be scared of not taking action and letting this monstrous system come to fruition. Now is the time to commit. Now is the time to say which side of history you're on. Now is the time to stand against the globalist and the new world order. And regardless of whether you get this July issue, this July 4th resistance to tyrants issue, spread the word about liberty, resist corruption in your area. Millions of us doing little things can move mountains together. I'm Alex Jones signing off for InfoWars.com and the InfoWars team. I am your host, Alex Jones, and we'll be here for the next three hours today. Larry Pratt with huge updates on the U.N. gun treaty, uh, new Fast and Furious type scandals, you name it, coming up uh, for about half of the next hour. Then we'll have open phones until Adam Kokesh joins us the last 20 minutes of the broadcast or so. He locked and loaded in D.C. in defiance of their tyranny. And regardless of what you think of uh, his activities uh, in other arenas, you've got to admire the courage uh, of this modern... Rosa Parks, I'm not sitting at the back of the bus uh, type activity uh, against these control freak miscreant criminals that have hijacked our nation. Speaking of that, there's a new Gallup poll out, and I think it's much higher than this. 71% agree founding fathers would be ashamed of country today, and they're right. Well, the police are trained, and we show this video in my film Road to Tyranny, uh, and we've shown countless training manuals. They're actually told the founding fathers were bad people.
Then they swear an oath to a constitution, because that's law, and to uphold it. And then they are told anyone that makes frequent references to the Constitution, uh, go ahead and put them in a terrorist file. That's in the FBI training manuals. Just type in constitutional terrorist and you'll see, let's not exaggerate, over 100 manuals of the FBI put out in the last 15 years that are public. These are on their website. They've got over 100 current ones for every business there is. Tattoo parlors, barber shops, bars, uh, car washes, Somebody talking about the founding fathers and freedom? Give the police a call. <laughs> Imagine, you know, Red Dawn of the Soviets had taken over in the 80s. If you hear American pigs speaking of founding fathers of freedom, report them immediately. I mean, this is how bizarro it's gotten. So we're going to be breaking all of that down. Also, some good news. A train wreck of Obamacare begins to unravel. Massive government boondoggles set to self-destruct by 2015. Well, it's all written to be selectively enforced. Um, but if you resist it, it's so nakedly unconstitutional, it will be defeated. It is a tax, as the Supreme Court ruled. Two private offshore banks that own the big insurance companies to make you... Purchase insurance. Now, what happens when you've got to buy something? You've got to buy textbooks to go to college. That's why the average textbook cost over 200 smackers. When a similar book at Barnes & Noble would cost $20, they've got all sorts of you know, military textbooks and big, thick publications that are even better than the Soviet-style bilge uh, that you pay for. I see some textbooks that are $500 now that you've got to have. A $500 outdated, crud-filled piece of garbage. Well, it's the same thing. You've got to buy car insurance so it goes up and up and up. And after that unconstitutional precedent was said, well, you've got to buy health insurance. And now you've got to buy in California gun insurance if the governor signs it. Oh, and insurance to buy ammo. And oh, lo and behold... Once they turn a right into a privilege, they can outlaw it. So we're going to be going over all of that news. And, and this is, well, mother tells how she was strapped down while prison doctors persuaded her to be sterilized. And, 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 and when they put it in persuaded, that's in quotes, they, they strapped her down and forced her. Uh, as nearly 250 Californian inmates were pressured into surgery. That's just who they know about. Rising the specter of California's dark eugenics history. And then people will argue, well, we shouldn't have these prison inmates being able to have kids again. Oh, they're going to end up sterilizing you when you go on welfare. Which, And then people say, well, that's a good idea. There's too many poor people having kids. That's the plan is to totally break down society and then bring in Orwellian control that is not going to even be targeted on the giant masses of poor people. It never is. It's going to be targeted on middle class. We're the enemy. I don't care what color you are. If you want to be self-sufficient and outside of their cult, they're coming after you. And speaking of that, here's a CNS news story. It's up on Drudge and on InfoWars, InfoWars.com and up on DrudgeReport.com. 101 million Americans get food aid from federal government more than the number of private sector workers. Here, I'll, I'll, I'll move over the box um, so we can actually show TV viewers this, or you guys can just go and uh, punch it up on your computer and show people. Since we put new computers in here, it's very hard for me to put stuff on screen without it being cut off. And I want to rectify, and I bet we can figure out a plan to do that. 101 million Americans get food aid from federal government more than the number of private sector workers. That's why it's going to be game over soon, unless we just start non-complying with everything. Because they've got a giant mass of drooling fluoride heads who have been chemically lobotomized, who are living off the dole and don't even know what country they're in, what state, what the three branches of governments are in some cases. They, they don't know their head from a hole in the ground. That's why all over the country cops are pulling people over, mainly women, 
for speeding or for a burnout taillight and saying, all right, get up against the car. And we're such animals to the government now, they don't even change gloves when, according to jurisprudence and common law, it is a rape to stick your hands in someone's pants and put your body, uh, put your hand into their body. Two women, you've, you've seen that famous video, a blonde and a brunette, both white, two women outside Dallas, state police, and now more videos are coming out. It's, by the way, continuing. They're not stopping. And... They just pull you over and say, all right, I'm going to go ahead and search your car. They don't even ask permission like the old days to trick you into letting them violate your Fourth Amendment. The sheep don't know what planet they're on. They get out. They comply with everything unconstitutionally. And so, of course, it's, all right, now I'm going to wear the same glove. It'd be illegal if they change gloves. But it's serious assault when it's the same glove and the female officer, but now they're using male officers. Why not? The slaves will put up with it going inside one woman's, well, it's one, it's one glove, four orifices. One glove, two women. Two girls, one glove. And this is how it works. And listen, next it's going to be your kids like TSA. We're going down the pants of kids. Thousands of photos and videos. There was a big backlash. They pulled back for a little while. Now they're back doing it again. And, and they're going to pull you over, and they're going to get your three-year-old out, and they're going to ram their hand into them. And if you don't like it, they're going to line you up and taser you. And if you resist that, they're going to shove a gun right in your head and splatter your brains all over the ground. Because that's how America, the cursed nation, is. If you'll kill 53 million babies and say they're not humans, well, why, I, why are you a human? And I love how... They're always pushing this like it's for our own good and how it's to stop drugs. Ladies and gentlemen, in case you didn't know, it's not a rumor that our ships were never attacked to get us into Vietnam and the Gulf of Tonkin. That came out in 64. The average person just heard the rumor, so it became a conspiracy theory. Now been completely declassified, 2004. It's a fact all over the U.S. They sterilize foster children. They sterilize them here in Austin. And the doctors that have told me about it are like, but you don't tell anybody. Okay, you're a journalist. This is off record. They give the children in Austin cancer virus orally, illegally, at these big public clinics at the sports stadiums in Zilker Park. And I've had a top doctor tell me this, but say, you go investigate it. You know, I don't want to be on the news. And we went and investigated, and surely enough, it's true. And the health department said, we're not going to discuss that with you. They don't just take foster kids and tie their tubes or, or give uh, males vasectomies. They g give them cancer. It may take them 30 years to get it, but they're giving them the cancer virus that implants in all of their major cell groups. And so that's what I'm talking about here. There's no, there's no making deals with the New World Order. There's no playing games. And, and the cops are just brainwashed zombies, just like the public. They believe they have the authority, just like Nazis believe they have the authority to put people in sand pits and shoot them in the head. They believe they have the authority to pull you over and ram their hand into your body. And they're going to do it. And they're going to lose lawsuits and keep doing it because the bankers want to bankrupt America. They hope they lose more lawsuits. They don't care. That's why they've been told, lose all the lawsuits you want. Drive them into submission. By the way, the Daily Mail says, oh, you know, not really. They were pressured. Actually, the News 10, ABC out of uh, California, female inmates sterilized in California prisons without approval. So, you know, the Daily Mail is kind of whitewashing it. Actually, they forced these women to do it, and they took them and tied them down. They've always done that. And again, the argument here is, well, there's too many people. The point is, ladies and gentlemen, they've picked a plastic system out of thousands of formulas that has estrogen in it to, to feminize men and hyperfeminize women. Women are like, good, I'll be hyperfeminine. Yeah, you'll, you, you, all of your sexual tissues will hyperage. You will die.
But again, 101 million Americans get food aid from federal government, more than the number of private sector workers. And it's growing. That's why they're deindustrializing. That's why they're putting regulations on independent businesses that could give people jobs to make it too hard so that everybody just goes and watches Oprah and Obama and just drinks their fluoride and goes quietly into the night. Now you can watch Alex Jones live at Infowars.com forward slash show. You'll find links to all of our content there and a free 15-day trial for Prison Planet TV. You can also browse the network, the Infowars Nightly News, and over 60 movies and documentaries all together in one place. You can watch the Alex Jones Radio Show live as it happened. So check it out, Infowars.com forward slash show.